Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the Tell me, do you know the feeling? Tell me, do you know the feeling? You look up and you ain't got no feeling. Oh, me in a Lambo? Nah. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna teach you how to make some white rice. Right now, we're locked down, we're bored. This is the cooking show with Emma Rowe, La Hellcat, and Mimi. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm just Ramsey. You. you make food differently than me, all right? You like your food al dente. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to cook how I cook my rice. The stove's on high. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan like right, right there. there. Mm -hmm. That's enough rice for me. So this is white rice. So I'm gonna get some salt. Now a lot of people what? make the yeah. That's not a lot of salt. That's about two tablespoons of salt. L listen, I make. See, I put of, the oil in. See, then the rice. A lot of people cook rice differently. So a lot of Puerto Ricans, what they do is. They throw the oil and water, let it boil no. with salt, and then put the rice in later no, with a spoon. Don't. All right. You put the rice in first, then we put the, the water to cover the rice. All right, I'm teaching you how I make mine. Ready? What you so. do with your rice? Did you wash your rice? Yes. And, and a lot of rice, you don't wash it. A lot of Goya rice, Puerto Ricans like you to wash your rice. It, it washes out all the nutrients. If you're a girl, you can wash your rice and save the water for your hair. No. Yes. So here we go. How much rice is that? That's three cups of rice. Okay. So we're gonna use three cups of water. But the thing is that I messed up. You're supposed to say, I'll take three cups of water and I normally warm it up. I need a spoon. There you go, thank you. <laughs> All right. So you wanna coat the rice completely. This is how your mom makes it. how your mom makes it? Mm -hmm. You wanna bring the fire low. Low to medium. Mm -hmm. So the next thing you do, so you want to take three cups of water and put it back on high a little bit because I didn't warm up the water. So when you measure your rice, never measure it with two different things. I use three cups of this, and you don't really know if it's really three cups. No. So you use the same exact thing you measure. If you measure in a can, you use the can again. Oh, you're saying equal parts. So equal parts, parts water. So, so enough water to cover the rice. That's yeah. how I measure it. Yep. You leave this on high until it literally evaporates completely. Put it on low, you mix it one time, you put it on low fire. This is what I, I don't typically use this stuff because Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, we, we make our own stuff. But when you live in the suburbs, that's all you get. Just dabble for the love of the ranch. <laughs> oh my God. Boom. Sazon. A little bit. Of Ooh, lemon juice. Now, on pork, we like to throw more pork flavor. I like to use half of that, because that thing is powerful. Yes, it is. Quarter tablespoon of that. Ooh, a lot of coverage. Italian, just a little bit. Oregano, just a little bit. Parsley, just a little bit. Black pepper. I love pepper. Just a little bit. What's that? Onion powder. Cilantro. And a little bit of garlic powder after we've been put fresh garlic. Just a little bit. And now you mix it all up. We go back into the rice that we were cooking. Oh. One more time. Lower the fire just a little bit. So this is what you want to do guys. If your rice looks a little bit drier than it was supposed to be, you dab with a little bit of water on it and then you close it back up after you mix it. Back to the meat. You want to um, mix all those meat, all the meat that you just did, all the seasoning. Oh crap, this, this meat is, meat is stick. And this looks good though, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Why do I need a chef when I check myself? <laughs> 
So I'm gonna show you guys what the meat looked like. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. I'm gonna show you what the meat looked, no, that meat. You try the meat. That's what you want to do, guys. You're going to deep fry that bad boy. I'll show you guys a little trick. When Puerto Ricans do meat, they typically use the same ingredients to make their beans. Now, they, I don't have no potatoes because a recession is bad. But you got no potatoes. But they typically just put them away and then do. Normally, the meat's done last. My beans get done so quick. I'm going to play no games. We're going to go back in and look at our rice. All right. Rice is looking incredible. The meat's cooking. Yeah, what temperature? How do I know? I mean, it's on, it. it's on high. <laughs> Cause I, I do want this meat crunchy as pork. Gotta cook it. <laughs> How do I know? Yo, you would be doing so bad without like a director. So throw the meat in the pot. All right, the first thing you do when you want to make Puerto Rican beans, you gotta throw a little bit of oil. Yeah. That's how you do it. The next thing is your tomato sauce. Put the whole thing. Put the whole can, baby. Yeah, half. That's why we don't cook up. That's so hot. I don't like it like that. I'm gonna put black pepper, parsley. You gotta be careful with oregano. That motherfucker got a strong taste. I like Italian. Now it comes with every little herb in it. Of course, onion. Thank you. I like onion powder, sorry. Cilantro. What is that? Garlic. You want a tablespoon of recaito, so this is like a cilantro base. Sofrito, green peppers, onion, cilantro, garlic, and olive oil. But when you make this yourself, it tastes so much better. All right, so you want to mix that in really good. Now, I get the taste of mine. You bring this a little low. This is called cubitos. They normally used to come in like a little cube. Normally, I would add I had a the ham, but... I, I like ham. Food. I ain't gonna lie. I must rather buy a car than eat. My priority is all fucked up. You'd rather buy a vehicle than eat? You're tripping. I'd rather walk to... I'm trying to get skinny. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> yeah, but you don't get skinny. So don't, don't do that. I like to do it. I like to do it. See, I do the mint garlic that's like grounded. That's good too. I ain't got time. My dad uses nothing for fresh stuff. We would never use nothing with cane. Then we add one carrot of beans. This is called pinto beans. So what you want to do now. I like small red. Small red is all right. I don't like kidney beans. That's one thing I don't like. Now you want to bring this to, to a maximum boil. Oh my God, I would never put a fork in a pot. Why? Superstition. Superstition? Mm -hmm. I got the whole like world. I got the whole world for the fork in the pot. <laughs> How many somebody ever told you that? That's that Puerto Rican stuff. Puerto Ricans got the worst superstitions ever. Oh my God, you're getting sick. That's not a superstition. Drink a Canada dry. Canada, uh, Canada dry. That's not Puerto Rican. You better have everybody person in your comment. Oh no, no, no. We created that. This is bold though. <laughs> Why are you saying with that? This is bold though. Uh, that thing tastes amazing. Stop being ratchet. All right, guys. So, do you put a lid on your beans? No. Maybe. All right, guys. So this is the end of the presentation. We'll show you the food when it's done. I ain't got time. Uh, listen, Emerald La Hellcat is signing out of here. We'll show you the product and then whatever. Hey, I forgot the olives. All right, we Bro, forgot the olives. How could you forget my favorite part? Put them all in. No olives. Um. You know, there's a lot of different ingredients you could add on this, but we just did it because this is quick, man. The virus. All right, bye. Yeah, guys, I made a meal. Like, what? How long did it really took? 45 minutes. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> it took like 16, 17 minutes. Made this in about 17 minutes. This is uh, white rice, red beans, and pork. Yeah, I like phones, but I need something with a deuce on the dash. I'm that nigga in the Hellcat, I ain't even gotta go fast. Racks on top of racks, I guess that's why they mad. 22 Lexani, Glizzy in the stash. I like phones, but I need something with a deuce on the dash. I'm that nigga in the Hellcat, I ain't even gotta go fast. Racks
Rocks on top of Rex, I guess that's why they mad 22 like Sonny, Glizzy in the stash Homie, tell me why these niggas fucking mad